Okay, so Brittany is asking, what is the cause of poor egg quality in a young patient? Because we know that the quality of the eggs tends to go down uh, as you go into your late 20s and early 30s and uh, late 30s and really terrible by the time you're in your 40s. And by quality, what we mean is not necessarily, not the baby, but just the live baby rate per egg. So generally, the younger the egg, the better the egg quality, that, that's really clear. But there are some women who are plagued by having a lot of poor quality eggs. The only way to deal with that is when you do IVF, this mini I, Clomid mini IVF protocol, very mild elevation of FSH, an equivalent mild elevation of LH. If, you, if the LH isn't elevated just the way the FSH is and in a mild way, you don't get good egg quality. And if you're just stimulating with FSH and some drugs that have HCG but aren't really good HCG alternatives, then you're gonna have just pure FSH stimulation and, and you won't get good quality eggs. So sometimes you do, of course, of course you do. But for women who are on the edge, it's really important to do what I call our Clomid Mini IVF protocol, which involves just a very, very mild elevation of your FSH and your LH triggering with uh, Lupron, vitrifying, freezing the embryos, and then transferring them into a perfect uterine lining uh, several months later. So that's the approach we would use with bad quality. And it's amazing, some of these terrible cases with four or five or 10 previous IVF cycles with poor quality eggs elsewhere with massive stimulation, when we just do this very mild stimulation, we get good quality eggs and we get uh, high pregnancy rates.